Hello guys, welcome to today's tutorial. My name is Azana Diola and on today's tutorial I'll be showing you how to create this simple happy birthday flyer design. Yeah, it's very simple, like seriously, it's very simple. I told you guys I was going to do this last week or so or there about but I've been busy and I apologize for that. So I'm right here, I'm doing this for you guys, walking you through the process I came up with this design. So before we go straight into you into it, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel at Azana Diola Photoshop Tutorial. Here we learn, we create, and we become. And if you are a subscriber, make sure you turn up the notification bell so as to get all my latest video as they drop. So let's just jump straight into it. The first thing we want to do as usual is to create a new document. So you use your Control N like so this is going to be a fast tutorial please so just use make us size 1600 pixels by 1600 pixels and our resolution is 100 as usual color mode rgb your background content white and color profile all remain as default so just click on create and once you are here the next thing we want to do is to create our background so what i use for the background on this design is simply just my what would i call it my solid color and i just mix so many solid colors together so i will show you this color codes and everything but i'm not going to be redoing it please because of time i don't want i just want you to understand how i came up with the design so i'll just show you this color code you can use the same color code when you do yours so this is the color code for this particular color Okay, let me cancel so you can follow better. So let me cancel so you can see the real thing. So this is the color code, right? So you can copy the color code. It's just a color field. See, there's nothing added to it. So this is where I now added some stuff. So I will offer this one so you could see the progress. So this is the first thing I added. So I'm going to show you the color code for this also. So you don't get it twisted. So I'm going to show you the color code for this color. So this is the color code for this. So this is the color code, right? So what you want to do now is you... Okay, le okay, let me just do that. So what you want to do now is create a new layer. And on that new layer, you know the color code already, so it's already selected. So use your soft brush. So change this to soft brush. Remove the hardness. That's what I mean. So it's not soft brush. So you just see, can you make sure it's that color code? So look at it, that is the one I'm using. So what I just want to do is now is to just drop on this place. So you can see what I'm saying, right? So you get the idea. So this is what I did there. So if it's not okay, you can actually increase it, increase it to this point. So you get something like this when you do it that way. So I'll just delete this and go back to my main one. Sorry. I'll just open this back. So that's what I did. And I added what? Vibrance to it. You, you see the idea, right? I added vibrance. Let me be sure if I added vibrance or I turned it off the air. So I'll just check here if I, I want to be very sure. Okay, I had the, the vibrance was on. So good. So I just come back to this place. So our vibrance, I'll show you the figure. So 100 vibrance, that is the percent. And the next thing you want to do is white. So this is a new layer and set your brush as white and paste on this also. So but after pasting on, you need to set your layer marks. Add a layer marks to it. And the way you can add your layer marks, I've told you already. So let me just give you an example again. I'll keep giving you an example always. So let's assume you've gotten to this place. So just add a new layer. Change your color to white. So this is white. So I'll just insert my white like so. So what I want to do now is probably increase the white a little bit. So I want it to be at the middle. Yeah, stuff like this. And I'll just increase it a little bit again. So I don't, I didn't think I reduced the opacity. Okay, I reduced the fill to 90. So something like this. 
So I got to a point that I needed to to clean the white from some place that it affected. So I created the layer marks that went to my brush. That I started brushing. It's make sure it's on black. So you are removing the white from this from these portions. You understand, right? Just be clicking the outside part or close to the inner part like this. You are just revealing. You are removing the white from that angle. So that's why you can see this stuff here. So that's what I did. So I'm deleting this back. I'm taking time, right? Please. I'll be rushing right now. So. So the next thing I did was to write the name, which I'm just going to show you how I did that immediately. So I'll just drag the name and just drop. Sorry, I said the next thing I did. I didn't write name, please. That was not the next thing I did. Sorry. The next thing I did was to put these images. That's how I do my design. I have to put my images first. So I guess these are the images. Let me see. Yeah, these are the images. So I'll just drag these images. I did some retouching on them. This is a studio image. So just in case you are wondering, this is a studio image, please. So these are the images. There are three different images. I just have to reduce their size, flip them, and all that. See, you can see it, right? So the next thing, the same thing with this. So we just flip them, and this is the last one. So. So you see how we did that, right? So, now I didn't retouch the image, like I, actually this is a studio image. I didn't do any retouching. The only thing I did that was to color grade, to blend the color with the background and everything. So that's what we did. So the next thing I did was to put the name. So in the material I used, I'm going to show you, I'm going to be releasing the images and everything so that you can practice and see that you come up with the same thing I did. So you can see that it's very possible with anyone, anybody can do. So the name now, this is what I want to do with the name. I'll just drag the name and drop. So notice that we are dropping, we are going to drop the name behind, behind the image. So let me start naming this stuff. This is my image. I don't want to get confused. Image, this is my... So let me just group this together and call it my... Sorry, these are mistake. I don't want to cancel this. Cancel. So this is actually now going to be my background. So I'm going to just type BG, 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 yes, background. So, so it's like, so people will be saying, how did I come up with this name? So I'll just show you how easy it is to do that. So I will disable my layer marks. And, so this is how it is. So let me now hide my image so you could see it properly. So this is just a type name. I just type the name. So forget all these lines. This line as I just drawn through your shape and you can do it. I'll show you how to do one of them so you can do the rest by yourself. So this is just duplicate of the name. So you'll be wondering what font is this? What font is this? So I'll just show you the font name. So this is the font. The font will be also be in the material you so don't don't be afraid. So this is the font name, Blue Belair. So you can try downloading it. I don't know if it's free or paid. So whichever way, but you get it on the material use. So that is how we wrote the praise. And the Wachuku was written with the same font, I guess. Yeah. But this time in capital letter. So that is how I wrote that. And the next thing I did was this. This is just a normal line for crying out loud. So it's nothing big. So I just stopped at the place the dot is. You understand? So the same thing, this is a simple line. Um, the same thing, this is a line. This is your normal. So you see, this is a line. I just I just changed this stuff. You are not to say this stuff now. The curve, I just added, you can add 50, 70, 80, 80, 80 curves to this point. Then once it curves to this point, let me show you what I did. I will disable this stuff and you see what happened. So see, this is what it looks like. You understand, this is just a curve shape. So I just have to clean the places I don't want. You understand? So if I reveal this, you see, I just have to clean all these parts and this part to this point. So it looks as if it was shaped with a P, right? So that is how we got to that point. And the color code I use for the name is this. So if you want to know the color of the image, of the text, 
this is it this is the color code for the text oh god i'm slowing down i don't know why so but i want you to get the point so i just duplicate it so so i decided to fade some part of the name that's why you see this layer mark so i just had to fade this part i use my gradient to to fade just drag make sure it's on black and make sure it's on your layer mark just drag the black up like so and you are good to go i know you guys know how to do that i don't need to do that so we are at this point now what we need to do next is what okay you can see some fading so this is a, a kind of shadow of a window a window shadow whichever way so i'll just i'll just show how i did that also is a png file it's an image file so it's on it's inside the material so so you can always get it there and try it out so this is what i did i just clip max it i changed the stuff to overlay so you could see the effect you gave to it right sorry sorry that, that is the wrong place so i'm going to release it so it's going to be on the name on top the name yes and I'll clip max it so that it will affect the name. So you can see the before without it and with it. So it gives you this kind of deep color, right? So that's why I just decided to use that. So are we good? So the next thing we want to do is, oh God, there's no time. I'm trying to rush this stuff. So the next thing I did was, please let me remove this final adjustment so I can see what I'm doing. So the next thing I did was, okay, this circle right so let me just drag this circle you know how to do a circle please don't ask me how you know how to create a circle the only thing i did on that circle was to add a stroke you understand to the circle my system is slower i don't know why so we just wait patiently for this stuff to come up i mean likely for this video i don't know but i guess you're getting it so i had to put a stroke and using the color of the background just select use your picker to pick the color of the background for the stroke color so it's blending i look as if it all flows together I, I i guess you understand that so let me just go to the next part so the next thing we did was what okay that is our image so the next thing we were, i didn't even do this one was last so the next thing i jumped to was my birthday so all this was simple the border i use is also in the material I use i'll drop it for you guys so you guys can use it just let me know in the comment section if you need this material the more comments i see the more i want to drop it and don't forget to like this video and leave a comment below and if you're not a subscriber please do it to subscribe to my channel right now so jump back to what we are doing the next thing we did was to write this wishing you So please if you know if you know if you love the way i teach on my video please let me know and if you know if you feel that you don't love the way i teach you guys please let me know also so i can improve and work out i just believe that as i'm saying this you guys are understanding but if you feel that okay you're not getting my points or it's not the way i'm teaching is not really helpful and you have a better way please let me know in the comment section and say oh let's do it this way let's do it that way and if i have a request of any tutorial you want me to do please also let me know in the comment section and like this video if it was helpful to you so we just keep dragging and that is like that is the major thing so this one is just the lightning and all that the lighting sorry so i'll just drag it and fix it here so these are just light flares yeah they will be in the material use you have my light flare already so these are just light flares to just show you where it's supposed to be just have this realistic reflection as if there's a light coming from my back and all that that is the essence of it i don't want it to be too much but i don't know it's like it's even too much already so but that is how we did that so the next thing we want to do is what i guess that's all so i want to write this 2023 and the day the 19th the 10th month and the 19th day right so so we've gotten to this point so i'll just drag this like so you know how to do that the font I use for that 19 and 10 is what they call Nexa Bold, I guess. So let me just check. Nexa Bold should look like a yes. Nexa Bold. And that, these are the settings. So if you are just wondering, wondering, wondering. yeah, wondering. <laughs> so 
that is what we did there. Yeah, so I guess I guess this is as easy as you see. And you have my confetti. There is this celebration stuff. You have it. If you don't have it, you get it. If you make a request, let me know in the comments section. And as so I will bring this down because I want it behind the wishing you. So yeah, like that. So that celebration vibe. Yeah. So what else? The next thing we are going to be doing is what? We've written this, we've done this, we've done this. Light glow. Where's light glow? Okay, on the 1910, right? Okay, so something like this. So I'll just drag this and drop like so. So let me drag this one too. I forgot to drag it. So I'm dragging it right now. So you see, it's very easy to create and it's just simple. I just wanted to show you how I did that. So there's no big deal. It's simple. One of the most simplest design ever. I think now simplicity rules over complexity, right? I hope I get that English correct. So, so this is just it. So the next thing I want to do is just to shift control and alt and e so to merge everything together into one why am i doing that so i can put my i can do my final adjustment final master adjustment yeah so i can add my i can do convert to smart objects so that when i did then when i do any adjustments if i if there's mistake in it i can easily go back to it it's going to be editable so i can edit it back to effect my correct change so i'll just copy this this camera raw adjustments yeah i'll just drag this this is my master adjustment i'll just drag it there i might there i'll just drop it here like this so it will so it reflects yeah so you see that's why i did all the color grading so you can see the before the color grading and after the color grading. so i felt that it was too reddish you understand so i had to bring this hue and saturation like so so i'll just wait for it to drop so like i say if you like this video hit on the like button drop a comment let me know so i can create more content like this because the more you comment the more you like the more i know that you love it but if you don't comment if you don't like i won't create something like this anymore so please if you like it let me know in the comment section so you can see now it's coming out better as the color has been reduced a little bit the saturation has been reduced a little bit so thank you guys if this video has blessed you like drop a comment and don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel if i knew if this is your first time of watching this video or watching my channel coming to my channel please hit on the subscribe subscribe button let's create more videos together thank you guys catch you later bye peace for now and god bless